like some Southern Baptist teacher saying and don't understand that the woman is my eye. I just broke that down. So you see how we correct things? And when I say these teachings are for the whole family, more science is for the whole family at a young age. She don't have to. Look, when I, and, I'm, and I'm glad you're having these conversations. It's your right. Like, I had one, it was, when I graduated, it was super hot out here in Arizona when I got my dual master's degree. But I had my, I had my bonnet under it. It was just certain things that was hot under them lights. Them lights were super hot for me. So for me, I sweat like a Hebrew slave. So, <laughs> so it was certain things that I didn't want to wear, but I wore my bonnet and I wore my, and I wore my stole, everything on my graduation cap. I mean, everything on my robe. I wore my stole, all that. But it's your right, you know? You can represent who you are, especially if you know who you are, especially once they know who you are, who, who, what auspices you under. I'm telling you, man, because you can defend yourself legally and lawfully. I keep telling people it's a such thing as the religious laws that protect you. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I said these teachers, if, if it do anything, when we talk about we having a Sunday school and we're not going over the teachings of through our Moors Quran, which I know Moors don't understand. Why I know Moors don't understand it? Because they don't have the Quranic study guide. They don't have a catechism to understanding chapters in the Quran, especially if you don't know it, especially if you never, if you don't understand the language and that, and you have to be okay with that, man, because you just can't make stuff up. This is supposed to be whole, uh, this is supposed to be holistic. But but remember, don't get caught up with her with that graduation cap because I can tell you, I always tell people, don't let nobody lie to you because the graduation cap is symbolic as well. I, I told you the graduation cap and the and the and the feds they both have three hundred and sixty degrees. I keep telling you it's the circle and the square. That's just in academia they don't tell the kids what the graduation cap and what the tassel represents. It represents knowledge. It represents wisdom. So if you choose not to let your daughter wear the cap, that's fine. But but you got to let her. You got to synchronize it. You know what I mean? When we doing something, we telling somebody not to do it. We need to understand the science because a lot of stuff was deprived and not explained, and they rush you out. They don't tell you as you grow in degrees when you graduate in worldly academia, which I call pseudo academia. Your graduation uh, uh, hat change, and when you get your masters, you get your graduate. We get the thing that go around our throat. The for our masters, a little bit of stuff on our graduation hat, it changed. It said graduate. And then when you get your PhD, your hat change and your whole robe change. So what I like to tell people is don't get caught up in our lower self. Get caught up in comparing, because if you don't have nothing to compare to and contrast to, we'll be doing things unjustfully and not explaining. Because the, because the graduation cap, which is the square. And the fifth, which is the circle, they're both 360 degrees of wisdom. But in academia, I don't give a damn what school you went to, the white, is, you know, whatever, orange, black, purple, or green, they just rushed you out. And even my brother that think they got the degrees, they don't understand the wisdom of the graduation cap and the feds. So let's be clear about that. Let's be clear about that. Because when we talk about education, the Moors were the first ones that created the universities. The University of Salamanca, and Spain and the University of Timbuktu. So we got to get things right. When I talk about pseudo academia, ask from love, ask any upright professor or teacher, be like, what's pseudo academia? They are laughing, be like, who you been talking to? Pseudo academia is what they teaching you. It's a thing in academia called program learning. It's a thing in academia called the reading list. That's why I say when I teach advanced studies, peer review scholarly research and intensive study, which they're not going to teach you. Are you following me? I know all about dispensations. I know all about where they start our children off in school, 1700, slavery. But I teach all about that. I teach prehistory. I teach ancient, paleo, and do the connection that show you that Negro, black, and color that was misnomered was all in Britain all over. And I show you that they were the first rulers before they were stripped. It's just facts. It can be proven. It's all in the museums, all in England. That's where all the science at in personal museums and in artifacts and all over and in, and in ancient books. 
more is just losing it. And I say you've been taught wrong. You've been educated wrong. And I'm here to put us back in the rightful place, legally and lawfully and educationally, because history and law ties together. You see how you're getting, you're getting, this, this is real history. So where I stopped at, at the clock of destiny, what I want to, that I want to finish off is, is when I was talking about the crest of Asia and how it symbolizes the great pyramid as shown on the reverse side of the United States $1 bill of 1928. Watch this. Names such as Negro, Black, Color, Indian, Red, African, Jew, and White are slave labels of the Roman cross order of segregation, hatred, slavery, and exploitation. And the resurrection period of 1853 and 1865 resulted in the United Orders of the Christian, the certain white world of organized labor, agriculture, industrial and commercial unionism, and military procedure, which made the Roman nations the mistress of the seven seas. I hope y'all follow me. The Asiatic nation compromises three-fourths of the world's population, and the European nations of the Roman cross order of Christ and Mary compromise one-fourth. So the celebrative Magna uh, uh, Carta of colonial North America, which granted freedom to the blonde masses or the in masses or the French, which defines in English as one body. So the celebrative Magna Carta is the document which granted economic, social, and commercial freedom and equality to all people of ruddy pale skin with long hair or flaxen, regardless to race, label, or religiousism, or politicism, or your faith. You see that? And the process is Biblo of Biblo uh, in 1946. The celebrative story of Abraham Lincoln involving the freedom of the Moorish descents, referred to as Negroes, is played up falsely Moors. The insignia on the United States dime of 1865 represents the staff of the Roman Axe, the United White Order, which unfortunately left the Moors or the Asiatic descendants on the outside looking in. Universally, during the past 93 years, of the uh, Roman economic, social, and commercial uh, stride. That's why when they call Father Abraham the God of the Roman Union, involving the North and South Pole, July 4th and January 1st, Lincoln. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to connect the science, so stay in the context. So if you're skeptical, you might want to denounce the names such as Negro, Black, or Color, and African and go to the library and ask for the history of the Moorish Empire and your history and carefully observe white servants' reactions. No disrespect. This is the history the European American has, has thought. They thought you would never know it. They thought, nevertheless, you have the fundamentals in this science that I'm going to give you. That's why when I tell you that the two empires during the past 1,367 years of the new era of Islam a more. I'm glad you jumped on because if your feds fit a little too big, put a, put your uh wear your bonnet. I mean, or wear your uh your bonnet or your kufi under it. If you if your if your turban fits a little too big, the maroon I, I sent you. Like if it fits a little too big, wear your uh kufi under it, and it'll give you a nicer fit. And if it, and if it's a little too big, I ship you another one. No, I told you we family. This is what I do, man. You got one. No, mine, this one not too big. See, I, I, I like mine to fit right on top of my head. But you know, I observe everything. You know, and see, and, I, and you know, and like I, and like I said, no, but I, and I hope you was on the other day when the more is on there, you know, you know, you know, I, I have to be honest because I follow and I look at people just like the more is on there trying to defend itself. And I was telling him, he asked me all these questions and you and he said you from a, a temple. And I said, with well, all these questions you asking me, why are you not asking your sheik? And then he started trying to act like this, talk about you went to some consulate. And I'm and I showed y'all there ain't no such thing as no consulate. And 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 Jamaican is a misnomer. And I gotta delete brothers. And I know brothers that follow certain brothers. So I just be giving a fair warning. 
And then one of the more from the temple, like you saying everything right. He was like, we ain't, one of the more like you ain't, we ain't operating right. Like I left that temple, blah, blah, blah. He was like, I know the more he's trying to defend himself. And I'm and all he was talking about is me, 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 I, 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 I. And so I say the teachers that correct you. And I'll show you, see how a person can be misguided. And that's what I'll be talking about. I said, I don't give a damn what temple you are. If you ain't learning shit in that temple. This is what I be saying. This is what I be telling Moors. And I said, be very, very careful. Yeah. Be, uh, talking, oh, yeah. But we got to talk about specific. We, and, I, and I told him, I understand about the Jamaican Maroons and Queen Nanny. I understand how the Moors was dispersed to Nova, Nova Scotia. I understand how the Tasmanians was dispersed. I understand all that. But see, if you say that your people this and that, how I broke down international law, which Obama told you in 2010, you have a right of a nationality. Well, being a Moor, you should already have your passport and all that. And as of, as of who you are. But see, we start backbiting and backbiting, talk about you went to the consulate. And I'm like, what consulate? Because the consulate don't issue a damn thing. I hope we know this, man. And this is what I be saying about teachings and about teaching when somebody's saying they got a sheik. And I say, you, you steady out of line because if your sheik don't know nothing, what do you know? And where's the science? Where's the wisdom? Where's the holy books? Where's the holy books? It's none. So that's what I be telling more. You got to be very careful. I don't care about nobody dressed up. I don't care about a whole bunch of people coming together. There ain't nothing happening. And that's what I be telling more is be careful. And we start breaking stuff down about the difference of things. The first thing they start backbiting where say my sheik don't teach about that. Well, you, if your sheik ain't teaching more science, they're holding things from you because you don't have nothing to compare to. And you got to be honest. And if you're not honest, you're coming from your lower self. And that's why Moors are confused. Period. So let me get back to what I'm teaching. That's why I said for any more skeptical of, of anything that I'm giving you history that you might denounce this science like the, the misnomers of black, Negro, uh, uh, Latino, Mexican. Genetically, it ain't one. Go to the library and ask for the history of the Moorish Empire and you will see how people look. I guarantee you, you will see how people look. But I tell Moors, y'all get caught up in following goofy shit. Because somebody gathered and I, and I read this letter and told you how more should be lying and then to come on the Internet and lie. And I, and I read the letter to y'all. If y'all want me to read it again, I told you how more be lying. And the brother Tyrell, you was on here. The more said he part of a the more said he part of a temple, all this, all that. And then when I start showing stuff and I start questioning them, they it, it's all fraud. And then they get upset. They start trying to talk about with well, my family this. I said, it ain't your family. Talk about I'm a Moor. I said, no, all Negro blacks and colored are Moors with Moroccan descent. We're just talking about just you, where I'm from Jamaica and I went to some consulate. I'm like, see, that's the problem. It's all about me, me, and that ain't even what it's about. You're not no sovereign. Ain't nothing about yourself. That's how Moors are. The teachers are all perverse. And you must be admit that you've been taught wrong. You got to admit it. You got to admit it, man. You got to admit that you've been taught wrong. You got to admit it. Talk about naturalization, nationalization. I said, you got to know what all that mean. You got to know. Especially if you got on some feds talking about you some chic. It's fraud. That's why I say when you go to the libraries, no disrespect, uh, uh, different nationalities, they thought you would never know. Nevertheless, you have the fundamentals in this science that I'm going to give you. That's how I know more is not studying in the temples. Talk about they study civics. And I say, well, what do civics mean? Because civics dealing with the, 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 the people. Talk about you some damn sovereign, some citizen. I'm like, man, you are totally twisted. I'm like, you totally talk about he, you went to the consulate. You was on there more. Tyrell, you was on there. And this is what I be saying. And y'all know who I'm talking about. The more talk about he from some temple. What was it? The true nobles. I follow because I know because I know more is beyond here. I know some of the brothers that follow me follow them. That's why I be telling people to be honest. Because if you ain't, all I can do is look at it and you know you lying. And you know you false. And you're going to steady ride on that. That's a fool. He's going to say to keep lying and keep lying and keep lying. And I'm like, look, okay, well, here go facts. I love you more. Yes, I'll be like, I love you more. I love you from truth. But here go facts. Here go things. I hear you. Now you backbiting. Now you digging yourself so deep, so so deep. And you was and you weren't even buried. All you had to do is be like, you know what? You're right. And correct yourself. But we don't. We a defend a lie. That's our problem. That a nigga will defend a lie. So I don't respect your fears. I don't respect your science. I don't respect none of that fake more science you're coming with. I don't respect none of that. 
Because they know I'll be telling the truth. They know it. And the first thing they do, they get upset. My sheik ain't teaching this. Why not? You see? The celebrated story of Abraham Lincoln involving the freedom of the Moorish descent, referred to as Negroes, is played up falsely. In the insignia on the United States dime of 1865, it represents the staff of the Roman acts. I gave you all that. That's why we talk about the two empires during the past 1,367 years. The two worlds, namely the Moorish Empire and the Order of Islam and the Roman Empire of the Order of Christ and Mary. The Order of Christ is 173 years old, calculated from 1774. Calculated from 1774, the area which uh, resulted in the birth of the United States Marine Force in colonial North America, the cream of the German Francisco or French. The legions referred to as what? Pirates. When I show y'all Thomas Jefferson Quran, when they talk about some Berber pirates, what do you think Berber is? What do you think a Berber pirate consists of? What do you think a Berber pirate is? They're just telling you black. But okay, but what's a Berber? More the Ottoman Empire, you missing stuff. Therefore, the United States history of the Christian order. Uh, 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 let me take it's hot, man. Hold on. I got to take this off. Hold on, Morris. Ah, woo. And see, this is what I'll be telling Morris, man. I said, y'all got to be honest with me because I'm going to call it out. Because if, if we're going to teach the truth, we got to teach the truth. And if you follow that garbage and then the Moors come back on my page, that's why everybody else confused. Because you did it. a person know they're lying and nobody going to call it out. But you ain't finna lie on, on my auspices, on my watch. This ain't no, this ain't, I ain't got no motive. That's why you got to understand during the Moors world domination, there was no Europe, England, France. Greece, Rome, Egypt, Africa, China, Japan, or Russia across the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. Therefore, the United States history of the Christian order might be compared with that of the celebrative story referred to as what? Santa Claus, which is what? Mythology. That's why I did any more ever think that the most sacred day of the Christian order, namely December 25th, the Christian nations promulgate the world's greatest false, which is the myth of Santa Claus. And you got to remember that December 25th is the foundation of the philosophy of Christ, right? I can more get mad. At the Roman time, they celebrated Saturnalia when the men dressed up like women and the women dressed up like men. I can go across the board. I can go across the board with Black Piet in the Netherlands, how the, how the European dress up in blackface and they know it's Moorish attire. That's how you can figure out the history of the Moorish nation lies in the library of every state of the union. That's when I say we defend the Constitution. We defend the feds. The history ain't nothing hidden. It's there. It's sitting. The history of the Moorish nation, our forefathers, lies hidden in the library of every state of the union and also the library of practically every home of Europeans and Americans, referred to as, no disrespect, white people. Therefore, the history of the Moorish empire is not new. To them, for they always been guided by the history of the Moors under potent influence of fear and hatred during the past almost a hundred so years, calculated from 1863, I mean 1865. Just like when you see them hold up the Corsica flag. What do what you think they, what, you think they disrespecting the, the Moors? They ain't holding up the Corsica flag. And when you see the clean of England with their Moors hair brooch, come on, man. Get out of your dumbness. This is why... The Asiatics and the people that we didn't follow up a certain Christian doctrine. It's impossible for the people of, of, of heavy olive and live olive you skin, commonly known as dark brown and light brown, to ever become no disrespect Christians because of this fact. The Christians worship no disrespect to no one. Somebody that looked like themselves. Somebody that looked like themselves. You know what I'm saying? And his same person that looked like himself, per, uh, perception Mary, the very image of themselves. Man, this is, man, don't don't y'all know something, man? I, I could come up with so many analogies. Me and my dad used to talk about how we used to be like, don't get mad at nobody for uh, making images of their God that look like them. Like, why you mad? Why you mad at somebody that making up images of them? Well, you, you the one that left. You the one that left your teachings. You the one that left your foremothers and your forefathers. But you go, you gonna get mad at somebody that made an image of their God that looked like them, and you following that crap. 
And, and then you're gonna blame some type of they they tricked us. They ain't tricked you. Well, show me in some writing where it says what they saying. They did, what they did is made an image that looked like them. And everybody want and all that one forced upon people. That's a lie too. Because I just broke that down about the Igbo and the Igbo and how when the European tried to come colonize, they already had it. I showed y'all about the slave Olado Enegwuba. That the teaching was there. They were already practicing the Hebrewic laws. So we got to tell it the history. Everything wasn't forced upon us. A lot of shit was done willingly. Why? Because we, we traded our stuff for a rock or, 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 or what Negroes do today. They sell out for, for a morsel. This is what happens today. Negroes think, oh, I'm going to get this plate. Oh, I'm going to get this car. Same shit. And that's what I mean when we talk about. Ain't nobody told you your God was white, was, was this color. Who? Who told you? What? In what writing? And, we gonna, and, and I said, you don't disrespect nobody. You understand. We respect the teachings. That's why I said we willingly left our God of who we are. That's why. That's what I be telling people. What nothing forced on nobody. If you say you free, you see, this is the thing of history. The history and law go together. People have been miseducated. Exactly what Carter G. Wilson said. The miseducation, the miseducation of the Negro. And I teach it. And what more should be doing is giving their Eurocentric, Afrocentric, connotated explanation of things. And when I give scholarship, it debunks all those lies. And that's what I be telling people. I'm like, we, we, we got to come on, man. The Christian God is definitely a Rudy or a white in their in their in their thing. Pale because he only begotten son is tangible evidence. That's why I said you look at Mithra, you look at the Buddha and all that manifestation of a people. When, when you look at the 18 missing, that's why I know more don't study their Quran. They damn sure ain't studied the Kabbalah or the Torah. And I say this is the 18 missing years of Jesus, which is Yahshua's life when he traveled the Mediterranean, when he went to Tibet, all the places. That's why I be like, I know more ain't studying. I know this for a fact. So you a more can lie to me. I know they're not connecting the dots. I know this for a fact. I know you're not reading the holy book. I know this. Why? Because this is my life. That's how I know. And the question by a person asks what they don't ask. And when I see the hate in their heart, I'm like, oh, they ain't studying. Or I'm like, they, they forget the five pillars of Islam. You don't forget? Totally don't lost that. You might understand that. What chance do I have to enter the gates of so-called Christian heaven dominated by someone that don't look like you? By his son and his son's mother, Mary, in that perspective. I ain't talking about the truth of the scripture, because that's why a preacher won't talk about the genealogy of Yahshua the Messiah, because they ain't gonna talk about the truthness. But I'm talking about you, I'm talking about what they per se are put in your face. That's why they ain't gonna teach the scriptures like Noble Drew Ali did and like I did. Because Noble Drew Ali, in one of our ayats, he said, Children, your hair is not kinky, it's woolly like your brother Jesus. So you gotta follow the context. That's why I be catching more, and I'm like, Y'all, out of context. We talking about when they whitewashed themselves, just like in the book of Maccabees, when it says the heathen, the Gentile tried to whitewash themselves in the history books. And then when I show you one of my old books is by Vladimir Ivanov, it's called Russian Icona. And they show them in the, in the tombs, everything, whitewashing everything. And then when I was a student, I, I showed you how they had all these artifacts in the Grand Canyon and they've been covering up. The very image of the woman who falsely cries rape, followed by sons a, 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 a cross burning and lynching such as the Christian nations the heaven dominated by who their woman the god of hatred fear crime and corruption I'm telling you look man I'm giving you science what what most elites know how do I know because I sit at the table I'm telling you it's our science that's why Specifically, the reason why for the new masses of humanity referred to as, you know what, people to establish the church and false doctrine of Christ and Mary. So we got to observe the reason in order that we might take a broad view and look at this with our eye. Which will enable us to erase the hatred against others, which is now dominating our nature. I tell more, you got to get rid of that hate. You got to get where you could. You don't you don't attack hate with hate. That don't how that works. When people talk about the art of war, the art of the war, ain't you getting no gun, man? They'll drop a damn shit with a damn drone. You got to understand during the domination of the Moorish nation, 
the blonde certain people of Patagonia, South Americas, have manifested their culture height in the society of Islam, which qualified them to establish the society of the cross, Latin, with mystery and emotional false doctrines as a positive weapon of liberating themselves from the amalgamated iron hand rulers of dictators who have shield the secrets of nature as shown in the signs of the zodiac and established a doctrine of mystery and religious superstition by force. And as a result, the following amalga uh, amalgamated generation of the Moorish fathers and blind mothers grew up in ignorance of science of the 12 signs of the zodiac. What you say, we don't see the esoteric side too caught up in dogma. That's why we teach the both. That's why you got to understand the eso and the exo. That's why when I tell more, 360 is just material wisdom. You got to, that's why the scripture says, I want the same thing on earth as it is in heaven. That means it's two type of uh, things in heaven that you must connect. You must connect everything, all the astrological signs to the earth, and you must connect everything that's in the astrological signs pertaining to your body. You must be able to do that. And as a result, the following amalgamated generation of the Moorish fathers and, and, sir, and, and different mothers grew up in ignorance of the 12 uh, signs of the Zodiac and applied principles of Islam, which in turn resulted in the corruption of the society of Islam, Moors, under the influence of Islamism or, vari or variable, reasonable procedures of religious worship, strenuous mysteries, prayers and the and the restriction of, uh, of literary education to the common masses in religion they don't want you to educate yourself and all those rituals when i be telling y'all rituals when i be telling y'all a lot of stuff was done for the slave i will show you in the quran you talk about you finna when when the moor is on there and, and and brother tyrell he talk about and and i'm and i'm like okay well, what do they mean and he talk about oh you pray and you pray until you become allah i said that's a ritual that ain't what the Quran say, and that ain't what we, that ain't what nothing teach. I give you all these teachings, that's how I know more and not listening, and I know they're not writing stuff down. Or you're going to do this and you do this till you become Allah. Well, people been doing that all over, they ain't became one with themselves. That ain't nothing but a ritual. How, if you already God, all you have to do is activate what's inside. You don't have to do a ritual. I, that, and that's what I be telling people. That's how I know more is not studying. You got somebody over your head. You repeating bullshit. You repeating false teachings. And, and I be say, show me in the Quran where it says that. Show me where that's law. And it ain't law. That's why I be telling more. I know more is they ain't studying. I know more is don't understand about they more salat. I know this. I know this for a fact. I, I, I know what I know. I know this for a fact. Because I know more is no study. And I say, well, show me in the Quran what I'm talking about. They can't, they, they can't show me. And I say, well, show me in the Quran what you say is law. You can't show me. Can't show me. Show me in the Quran where it's law. You pray five times of the day. Can't show me. And I can show you in more science why we do certain things. The corrupt process of the selfish, jealous, amalgamated rulers of the Muslim world converted the society of Islam into what? Uh, regimentation, human caste, or slavery, economic and social degradation, crime, bloodshed, all that was born uh, the army of mystic banner of the cross, led by militant, and no disrespect, their women, Patagonia, the blondes, no disrespect, this is facts, man. When, I, when a person would talk about some hidden, this is scholarship, supported by uh, 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 many wise Muslim women and sons struggling for freedom, which resulted in some 364 years of what? Intermittent. Conflict from Peru to Alaska across the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans in the Northern Hemisphere and a great battle between the two different types of religious superstitions, namely Islamism and Crossism, referred to as the great battle between the Crescent and the Cross or Muhammad and Christ. The period of the crucifixion, the lynching, the burning and the murders one another over the ideas of what? Impractical isms and mystery of, of variety which has dominated the world for some 400 years and has manifested with the racial and color scheme of corruption. See, I'm giving y'all higher science and more is get mad when I come with this science. I can come with all levels of this science. How are you gonna say you an adept? And that's why I said, I'm, I teach this craft. And adept, got to understand, we have a, a certain aptitude of the masterminds. This is my life. 
the Muslims with the strenuous ism of mystic religious worship and superstitions are not guilty of the establishment of the race and the color scheme. What they are guilty of, of the caste system and segregation according to class and rank and method of mystic and superstitious religious worship in the institution called the mosque, from which was born the institution of worship called the church and the race and color scheme with the marriage license laws established by Panagenia or the, no disrespect, the blonde woman of South America. It's no disrespect. It's, they wrote it. This system prohibits the issuance of a marriage license to Moorish men or women who desire to marry, no disrespect, white women or men in Northern America, especially in the United States. And upon this is founded the myth of the black and white people blood, which was born out of the church system, namely the Catholics, the Protestants, Baptists, and the Jewry or the Jewish temple of the United States in North America. I'm telling you, man, and Moors don't want to be a student, keep, 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 keep that dumb stuff. The Jehovah Witness organization of today is the, is the last resort endeavoring to lift the shame of the order of Christ through hypocrisy. That's why you got to understand the founder of the head leader of the organization is of the same people referred to as y'all know. Come on, man. The era of the formation of the Roman Republican Party. I mean, this is this is stuff that they wrote in 1854. The so-called white woman often referred to as the daughters of the revolution. What I just gave you all the D.A.R., that I, I keep telling y'all, a lot of stuff is covered up in masonry. What the DAR wear? They wear, they wear the white feds and a gold tassel. What did I just tell y'all women that you are my at? I just told y'all that. That's why they don't want you to know more science. And that's, how they want, that's why they don't want you to be under the auspices. But I keep synchronizing stuff. I hope more is be listening. But I don't think they do. They wear the feds in secrecy. They wear the feds in secrecy. Here go the, here go the daughters of Mary, American Revolution. That's why they feds all marked up. I'm telling you, they wear the feds in secrecy. This is your science. If they wear it in clandestine, but they endorse the artistic painting of themselves as the sons called Christ and Mary and establish the new doctrine of the only begotten son of God and his mother Mary by force, intrigue, ignorance, cruelty, seduction, bloodshed, and destruction. Exactly. But the foundation of the order of Christ was well laid in the union of 1865. And this was followed by the well-trained missionary workers or colonizers carrying the banner of what? The image of the son and his mother. What do you think those people had when, when I talk about the slave ship of Jesus of Lambert? What do you think they had? They are, they had the, they had, I showed y'all, they had the banner of the moorhead. Like they defeated him. I, I'm going to show y'all. And, and it was a trick. The doctrine across the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, supported by military force of the Order of Rome, and thereby the false doctrine of the so-called, you know, Son Christ, that other color, will establish in the four angles of the earth. And this enabled those daughters of the American Revolution to remain neutral. I hope you all follow me. That's why certain people have certain things and they own so much in Europe, because all they're doing is activating their what? Their Moore's legacy. I keep telling you all, man. They're more Asiatic women at home and abroad. So to perpetuate the, I have to say this, the so-called lie, the lily lie, the lily lie, the nations of Rome during the past hundred or so years. Right? That's why the 90, that's why during that time, the 93-year-old act of the Daughters of the American Revolution, it disqualified the English-speaking so-called woman. You know which one? at home and abroad to play their specific role in the new world order, which is rapidly progressing. I told y'all, we didn't have a problem at home, but our women jumped on a banner. That was their issue. And as a matter of fact, the English speaking so-called, you know, uh, different you woman has disqualified all other, uh, uh, their color women of different languages from playing their specific role in the new world order because they too are of the same shade of skin. In other words, they were the same stock. The the uh, you for the uh, Europa, the stock, the Rudy, the pale skin. You know. 
Look, man, I can touch all. That's like the Moorish nation submitted to the grim law of retribution in 1774 to 76. And the Roman cross nation submitted to the grim law of retribution in 1914 to fulfill in 1954. And this will uh, call, uh, culminate a short cycle of 40 years then. In 1954 will mark the definite end of the doctrine of Daughters of, Re of American Revolution. Namely, the church mystery, the image of themselves, and of the so-called race and color. Man, I can go so deep, but I'm not. But I, I want y'all to understand that. That's why when I talk about the alphabet of the Moorish nation, our forefathers, the Arabic letters, as expressed Arabic letters, names of names in English. When I say when you understand stuff, you can synchronize it. I'm telling you, now watch this. I'm going to read something to Moors. Watch this. The Greek, the Hebrew, the Latin of the Roman cross order definitely cannot go beyond the Arabic alphabet. Our Moors forefathers code of alphabet and mathematics have proven that the so-called different people have no culture of their own. Well, I keep telling y'all with the Phoenician and all that, that's it's all connection. The Moors color code in electronics, which describes the unit of what? Resistance, current, and voltage. The magnetic law, the atomic energy, is as follows. Zero symbolizes what? Black. One symbolizes what? Brown. Two symbolizes red. Three symbolizes orange. Four symbolizes yellow. Five symbolizes green. Six symbolizes blue. Seven symbolizes uh, 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 violet. Eight symbolizes gray. Nine symbolizes light or white. And our Moors forefathers had harnessed atomic energy and employed it for both good and ill many times before certain nationalities came with that garbage. You know, we know that before they came, before they you came of uh, Patagonia. And they had became educated by the culture Moors. If they're sons of Muslims, think about it. Because the death rate, the, no disrespect, Europeans was dying at an early rate. But we were so friendly, we shared things. Atomic energy is new to the different races. But it ain't new to Moors. The Christian race and color scheme was founded upon the Moors color code of electronics. Are y'all following me? And it's definitely impossible for a nation that is what? Dominated by various secret orderism to solve its economic and social problems in an atomic age. That's why you got to ask yourself this question. How can one help himself and others without exposing his secrets? Think about it. So the code of mathematics scaling from what? Zero to nine and three, six, nine and twelve constitutes the ever present code of what? Law which never grows old or ancient. That's what I be telling more is when you got these goofball from more from China, when I said, I can't sell you nothing. And he gonna say, well, we don't have to agree on law. Damn it. We got to agree on law of mathematics. What are you talking about? If not, you, you, you coming with your kind of total, uh, 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 religious scam perspective. Neither earth, water, air, or heat, which is the fear light or electricity will ever grow old or ancient. Neither woman, sons, and the letters of the alphabet will ever grow old or ancient, and the whole of which compromise the one great body of the ever-present living truth, which therefore is not a mystery and neither a secret. Do you agree with that, Morris? Yes or no? You see? All secret orderisms involving religion, symbolism, and mystic passwordism are our own ignorance of the realities which dwell within us and about us. Do you hear me, Morris? All that, all that secret mysticism stuff, see, I keep telling y'all, if a fly was on the wall with the, the, the conversations me and my dad have, that fly head would be too heavy. It'd, bump, it'd keep bumping in the stuff. Not because he think he knows something, because of the gathered information that can be used and applied. I'm telling you, man. That's when I be saying this, well, me and my dad, we talking about stuff, and I be like, who you talking to? Who 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 you get who you get who you, who you getting your information from? No. Who's your counsel? Hey. This is the thing we got to understand. It is what it is. <laughs> you know, nothing is a mystery. <laughs> All secret organism involving religion, symbolism, and mystic passwords. With, with more, I'm standing on my square. Man, you just standing with your feet out. 
Because standing on your square is exhuming wisdom and knowledge. That's the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. It's the wisdom and knowledge. Dad, what was you saying the other, the other day if a person, if a person, if, if, if knowledge was just important as waking up in the morning, what was you saying? You were saying something, man. If knowledge was just if, if important as, as food. If knowledge was just important as food. Like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but think about that. Think about that analogy for a minute. What would you do for it? Think about that analogy for a minute. What you would do for that knowledge and that wisdom. <laughs> think about that. If knowledge was just important as food, and you got to eat every day. Most Moors eat too much. That's why they're big and fat. So let's think if this knowledge was just important as the food you eat. Oh my. Oh my. Another analogy, we say it takes families to make up uh, uh, tribes, to have nations. Yeah, that, exactly. That's why I said the wisdom come from somewhere. So how are you going to talk about you know some who you who you connected to? You're not con most more not connected to nothing. We should want to be connected to things. Electricity. Uh, I don't get it. The inner world is our universal subconscious. It's our subconscious mind which dictates to our reasoning mind. Thus, our subconscious mind is the inner world referred to as what? That all-seeing eye or that ajan eye. Our reasoning mind is the outer world referred to as what? The light of the world. And all of which derive from the woman, the creator of all sons in the what? The course of nine from conception to birth. That's why the woman is the what? The grand master architecture and carpenter of the human body and mind, which makes all ones. It makes all of us Muslims, regardless to the shade of skin and color of the eyes. I have some, hey dad, hey dad, remember I, was, remember I had that conversation, we was talking and I said, a goofball more ass gonna ask me where do white people come from? Yeah. And I said, goofball, they said they come from the same places you come from, your mama's womb. <laughs> You see how people ask dumb questions? Come on, man. We got to be honest and reliable. All male babies are the sons of nine, nine months from conception to birth. In Christian mythology, the number nine have many names, most common to which are what? N-I-N, N-I-M, which is Nimrod or Nimrod, Nimrod and none. In Catholicism or catechism, that's what I'm going to show you in the, in the scriptures. I'm going to show you in the Moorish Quran. That's why I tell y'all every child is born on the square, an angle of 90 degrees, nine months from conception to birth. Islam, that's right. I keep telling Moors, man, this is science. The term Muslim implies the work of nature involving the human body from conception to birth on the right angle, the motion or the square of 90 degrees, Moors. The great circle of the earth compromised 360 degrees, squared by the number nine. That's why nine goes into 360 degrees 40 times. And this is the number 40, which involved the Christian order of the clanism. Clandestine, clanism, the society of their world, which Senator Bibelow of Mississippi had referred to cover the Meet the Press program in 1946. I'm telling you. Clan or clan implies the people who have agreed by oath or secret obligation to protect their society so as to prevent legal marriage or socialization with people of heavy you or heavy olive you of skin referred to as dark brown. And should any of the women and, and grown sons violate the clannish, the cold, they are subject to become a social outcast of the clan society. Especially if the violation involved marriage to any of the women and sons of dark brown skin. Are y'all following this science? That's a violation of the clanism society of their skin. That's why the secrets of the number nine involving women and child and the 12 signs of the zodiac is referred to as the what? Rejected stone. Thus the stone that sociologists of the Christian world rejected in the days of old became the head of the corner in the atomic age, which is as follows. That's when we start breaking down the astrological signs. When I talk about the first month of the year, which is April, and it's the first month of the, of the new year in harmony with the rising sun in the, north, in the northern hemisphere. 
on the Tropic of Cancer, which, which occurs every year on March 21st and ushers the spring season. Mathematics and the zodiac, the Earth acts to its orbit, evolve about the sun at the rate of uh, one degrees per day and 30 degrees a month. And it completes an annual revolution of 360 degrees every year or March the 20th in the 12th sign of Pisces. And thus the rays of the sun passes through the 12 different regions of the earth called the signs in the course of a year. So when you calculate it from the sign of Aries to the sign of Pisces, that's why the women know thyself. And the following is the secrets of the nine, the knowledge of the 12 signs of the zodiac involving the woman. The child and the secret and the secrets of the nine, of the number nine is important as the letters of the alphabet, which qualify them to read and write. So when we talk about conception mores, conception always occurs while the rays of the sun is in a certain sign of the zodiac, and the child is born nine months later, while the rays of the sun is in uh, is in another sign of the zodiac. For example, I don't want to go all in. I'm just going to give you a crash course because you're going to get this in school. If conception occurs while the rays of the sun is in the sign of Aries between March 21st and April 19th, the child is born when the rays of the sun enter the sign Sagittarius between November 22nd and December 20th. If conception occurs while the sun is in the sign Taurus between April 20th and May 20th, the child is born when the sun enters the sign Capricorn between December 21st and January 18th. If conception occurs while the sun is in the sign Gemini between May 21st and June 21st, the child is born when the sun enters the sign of Aquarius between January 19th and February 19th. That's my astrological sign. I hope you all follow me in this science. If conception occurs while the sun is in the sign of cancer between June 22nd and July 22nd, the child is born when the sun enters the sign Pisces between February 20th and March 20th. So y'all can go on and on with this teaching. Y'all follow me? Y'all follow me? That's why when we, when we apply the key of the 12 signs of the zodiac involving women and child and the number nine, nine months from the conception to birth mores, this process of simple scientific universal facts has proven that every child is born while the sun is passing through one of the 12 signs of the zodiacs. You know, look, watch this. Let me show y'all something. This is, this is Allah, that's Muhammad. The sun in the middle. That's the son of God with all the astrological signs. Y'all hear me? The process of simple uh, uh, scientific universal facts has proven every child is born uh, while the sun passes through the 12 signs of the zodiac. At the sign under which the, ch the children are born governs their lives from the cradle to grave. That's why I tell Moors and even my empresses, you must understand your astrological sign when I teach you the Akashic records. I'm telling you. If this master craftsmanship, when I be asked Moors, when I say, well, what's the Akashic record? They say, more, but you an adept. You got all the science. You say you an adept too. You say you some grand sheep. Why you don't have it? That which cannot be proven by mathematics, reasoning, is definitely dangerous to human progress. Y'all hear me? That which cannot be proven by mathematics, reasoning, is definitely dangerous to human progress. That's why during the nine months from conception to birth, the child in the creator's womb, namely the mother, has passed through the nine cosmic regions or signs of the earth in harmony with the sun from which it molds its physical form. Mind memory and characteristics qualify for cultivation as it slowly grows up during this cycle of life. If a woman of natural or national scale possessed the applied knowledge of the secrets of the nine, they would be supremely qualified to educate their children to the practical side of life during its nine months maturity from conception to birth. 
then there would be no need for the institutions of religious mystery, worship, idol, or image God, jailhouse prisons, and insane institutions that would not be needed for there would be no racial hatred or crime because everything is taught in the womb. The secret of the nine and the 12 signs of the zodiac involving woman and child from conception mores to birth is referred to in the book of John, Revelations, as the opening of the seven seals from which has marked the very end of Christian theology and the rise of woman with civilization, namely the Moors or the Asiatic women of the United States who have been labeled Negro colored people by the sociologists of the Roman cross order, Moors. And I am sorry to assert that the present grown up, especially 90% of both European and Asiatic Americans will not turn they will not turn and the ability to adapt their talents to many lines. They are also fond of travel and dealings with the public. I can break all this science down. The 120 degrees, the sun and cancer give love for home and families, old age, security and desire for music and pleasure. Persons born in the sign make qualified lawyers, nurses and political leaders. 150 degrees, the sun is in Leo, gives fondness for authority, generous, sympathetic, uh, symp sympathetic and ambitious. Persons born under this sign are endowed with many capabilities. They make fine actors, teachers, instructors. The 180 degrees, that's the Virgo. It gives many talents and love of detail. Persons born under this sign are musically and artistic, inclined, and are also fond of money, immortal gain or material gain. And if you're not careful, they are usually unfortunate in love and marriage, owing to their uh, critical tendencies. They have some. They must have someone to encourage them at all the times. The 212, uh, the 210 degrees, which is the Tropic of uh, Capricorn. The sun is in Libra. It gives a sociable, romantic, and affectionate nature, and a great lover of beauty, art, music. Persons born under this sign are subject to trouble in courtship and disappointment in marriage. I can go on and on. 240 degrees. It's too many degrees. I'm just giving y'all a crash course. You see? That's why the intellectual zodiac, the interpretation of the moon and the 12 signs, it take time out. That's why you got to study this. That's why you got to understand that the interpretation of the moon passing through the 12 signs applies to daily activities as well as birth. And the interpretation of the moon in each sign is also important to the woman as the interpretation of the sun. When I talk about the head, the 30 degrees, the moon in Aries, a fire sign at the time of birth, influence a person to be impulsive, extremely uh, uh, enthusiastic. The neck, the first fixed angle, which is the mid spring, the 60 degrees, that's the moon in Taurus, an earth sign. And at that time of birth, it gives a person a quiet deposition, determination and ambition to excel in undertakings. The lungs, the 90 degrees, the moon in Gemini. I hope y'all following this science and air sign. And at that time of birth gives a person an inclination for an intellectual things. They are very active mentally, skillfully with their hands and love of writing, designing, journalism, sculpting, etc. The breast, the cancer in this region of the economic security. That's the 120 degrees, the moon and cancer, a water sign. And at that time of birth, it gives a person love for home and a powerful imagination, emotional, changeable, sympathetic, proud, determination, interest in drama and intellectual studies. The heart, that's the second fixed angle in the midsummer. That's 150 degrees. That's in the moon. In Leo, a fire sign. Birth gives a high uh, mind, good managerial ability, and great honest in all business transactions. The Virgo is the region of the organized labor. Intestines. That's the 180 degrees, the moon in Virgo, an earth sign. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking down y'all body. I hope y'all following this. At the time of the birth, when I talk about the most holy place, I can connect all this. The kidneys, the 212 degrees, the moon in Libra, an air sign. The sexual organs, the third fixed angle, the mid-fall, the 240 degrees, the moon in Scorpio, which is a water sign, the hips, 207 degrees, moon in Sagittarius, a fire sign. The knees, Capricorn is the region of the birth of the Union of Rome. That's a 300 degree moon in Capricorn, an earth sign, and at the time of birth, give a person administrative ability, good reasoning, power. 
and they are idealistic. The angles, the fourth fi fixed angle, which is in midsummer. That's that 330 degrees, moon in Aquarius, air sign. The 360 degrees, moon in Pisces, that's a water sign. And at that time of birth, it gives a person a retiring and pleasant disposition. And at that time, they are easily discouraged, restless, and impatient. And they are fond of scientific study and romance. They are also endowed with the power to offset the aim of secret enemies. Pisces is the region which completes the circle of creation and shows how the law of unity works universally. That's why you may refer to an up-to-date almanac in order to find what your, your sign, the moon, is enduring each month throughout the year. And this is what I teach. So I'm done, man. I love y'all. Next week, I'm going to give y'all this. Intro to Clock of Destiny 2. Become a student, man. The syllabus will be coming out tonight. I love y'all. Islam.